Office tour. Except not just a normal office tour. I'm gonna improve the office. I've been here for what? Three months? Two months? Three? Four? Many months. I've always been procrastinating with this tour because I'm like, I can improve more. And instead of just doing a tour, why not? I improve for the video. Huh? Huh? And you know what's in this video as well? Our sponsor for today. Caseify. Caseify cases is all about self-expression without any compromise in protection. Currently on my iPhone 14 Pro is their impact case. I think it suits the iPhone. What do you think? Because it's a deep purple, I got the purple case. Caseify has also sent me some of their cases, their impact and ultra impact series, which feature their trademark Eco Shock technology and the option of including MagSafe compatibility. The impact case in my hands has a drop protection of up to 2.5 meters. <laughs> scared. It will protect but still scared. And the Ultra Impact case has a drop protection of up to 3.5 meters. If you want even more protection, even higher, the Bounce series is up to 6.5 meters. They managed to achieve all this and also be environmentally sustainable. KC5 cases are made from 65% plant-based material and recycled material, part of which is made from upcycling old phone cases. Do check out KC5's website. They feature tons of different designs for you to choose from and to express yourself. They even have a customization service for you to put any text or pictures on your case. Huge thanks to Caseify once again for sponsoring this video and let's get back to the video. I do want to improve the office because now, come, you can see the office is actually somewhat neat practical wise. Very practical. It's just missing that feel, you know, the decoration. My plan is I can add like a painting or a poster here, a poster here, a poster here, you can't see because the light is here. I'm thinking of adding a shelf here. Then I can add like my statues, which I don't have a lot. It's all at my Tampanese place. The plan is rent a car, Ikea, get shelves. Then around the area, there's a poster shop. Then we go to that poster shop, and then we go to my Tampanese house, and then we come back here. Let's go! Okay, uh, I, I decided to go to the poster hub first. It's next to IKEA because uh, better for the video. Not very practical because we should have gotten like the bulkier stuff first. They don't know I'm coming. Not sponsored, but let's see this. Ooh. Yeah, so we're gonna find four, four posters. <gasps> Look at that. Star Wars. I know, I know like Star Wars, but I don't think I want a Star Wars poster. So the poster is 20 bucks with frame is 85. Hmm. Funny story about this. I bought a very similar poster for Ryan at the old office. I don't know whether he has it because his favorite is uh, Captain America. I'm gonna choose one of these on top of the whiteboard. And then two of the small ones at the side. So I'm gonna get this too because I thought it was quite funny. And uh I I, I didn't want to get Star Wars, but I'm just I, I just like couldn't resist. Uh, I'm gonna get Darth Vader. I wanted to get Grogu, Baby Yoda, but the print a bit weird. Uh. So I'd rather get something that a bit more cartoonish and sharp. Okay, so we got the posters. Didn't get too extra because a bit expensive. Uh. But off to IKEA. Okay, so game plan is we get the shelf here, but I think I can just get the same shelf as I have at the Tampanese house. Then just take the Tampanese house shelf because there's no need for the Tampanese house to have a shelf. And today we're gonna eat PewDiePie's food. I'm pretty sure that's what all he eats in Japan now. Breakfast, lunch, dinner. For shelves, there's a lot of mounting system. Usually you have rackets like this. But this is the one right where it looks seamless. The only problem is... Uh, but I want to save money. Uh. I got one of these at home so I can just buy one more. Then I put two side by side. Because one of these is 110 cm. So the width of my acoustic panels is about 2 meters so we can have it like seep out a bit from the side. So it doesn't matter. So I think I'll just buy one more of this. A rack for section 31. Let's go. So uh, this PC case actually got me quite interested. It's actually water cooling eh. Is it by ROG Strix that made this for IKEA? 
I got a feeling it is. Oh, this is the LG A1151. So I'm. 10th gen? 11th gen? Maybe. I don't know. Can't really see what GPU is this either. SLI. Ah, got SLI. Alright. Got the lag. So, exact same thing. Bringing back a lot of swords. Man United. Monitor. Three boxes. One thing I always forgot to mention is that I'm looking to hire new people. I'm looking for interns part-time or even full-time. And honestly, you don't have to be good at tech, camera work or video editing yet. You just need the interest with a good attitude. For more information, check the description if you're interested. Okay, for the installation, the first thing I did was the two small posters. I was quite afraid to drill near this area because of the electrical stuff. So I use a wall-safe double-sided tape to mount the two frames. Then I move on to drilling the drywall to install the two shelves, which I took every precaution to have both of them aligned, centered, and leveled. For the bigger poster, I drilled one hole and this side of the wall is bricks. So I only needed to use one screw which will be strong enough to hold this poster. Lastly, the packboard. This IKEA packboard is actually made for easier installation. So this was relatively easy to install. Okay, this is the official office tour. It's actually an office within a bigger office and I will talk about the bigger office later on because there's a bit of explanation I have to give y'all. But we'll do that later, we'll do that later. Office tour, office tour, come, 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 come. So when you walk in, right, you'll be reminded Darth Vader, someone is looking down on you to control, to have order in the force. And also a reminder that I'm a commando, an elite soldier. <laughs> I feel like a narcissist adding all this, but it's, honestly, I don't have place to put and I thought like, wow, I'm very, very proud of it. Good times lah. Uh, they don't give it to you. You actually have to pay for it. I earned it, but I still had to pay for it. Yeah, just uh, fun facts. Below here is actually the 4000 series build. The 4090. Just putting it there. Storage, there's two 4090s. Uh, 6K right there. Storage and camera equipment. Mostly storage. I mean, basically, you see any shelf, it's just storage lah. Imagine all this was in my room. How did I survive? This is a Z690 that's DDR4. Uh, here's the thing, uh, works with the 13th gen. Means you can use DDR4 with 13th gen. Cheaper. The latest one are up here, so it's easier to take. Usually, I won't use this because these are like the 2000 series AMD with the motherboard, Z, uh, X470. I even have a H81M. Uh, on top, GPU, 40 motherboard, PSU. Laptop, just boxes like. And I think the highlight of this area is like, I guess the camera equipment. I want to talk more about it, but I feel like this can be a separate video by its own. And we actually already shot it. So uh, basically, just dry, dry box, film cameras, lens, microphones, DSLR. This is the charging station. So the system I have is any batteries that are not charged, you put it, can put it anywhere. But the batteries that are charged, you put it one side at the right so you know that what's charged and what is not like I just added this your saw this sticker is a reminder of not taking out the plastic pill when adding the CPU cooler yeah uh, just more storage hard drives uh, easy and take out just extra hard drives uh. water cooling boxes which I have yet to get around producing the video yet but Soon, soon. Kita all the stickers you all can see whether there's updated stickers lah. I, I always feature this usually there's new stickers. Again, I'm gonna plan to do a video for all this equipment. Uh, this couch from Ikea, it's the, do you wanna make 3,000 to 5,000 dollars a day? Couch. If you understand, you need to go find some help. Lah. Y'all seen this area before also. I've done a video doing the setup, so I don't, I don't get too into it, but 12,900 KF with 3090. Yeah. yeah, you can see a PS5 and an Xbox. One thing that I can add, I recently won a Switch at a AMD event. Oh, never in my life I would imagine that I will have all the consoles. I remember when I was a kid with a PS2, I was like, ah, oh, I wish I had an Xbox so I could play Halo. Then when the Xbox 360 came out, I was like, ah, oh, man, I wish I had a PS3. Then when the PS4 come out, I. I had a PC, so I didn't buy any console, no money. So I like, I wish I had a console. Now I have everything. So, you know, work hard. You can get what you want. This is like a dream of mine and I got it. <laughs> oh, so happy. So it's like PC, Xbox Series X, Nintendo Switch, and this is the latest one. OLED and a PS5. I also actually have a Nintendo Switch Lite. But to, to be honest, the console that I always use is the PS5 because FIFA 23. 
hate the game. I don't know whether I feature this, but now, because I stream, I will be streaming more on YouTube instead of Twitch. I want to do... I'm a YouTuber, I don't need Twitch. Uh, I have a green screen by Elgato. Oh, I haven't talked about one thing. Uh, the foam. This is uh, actually acoustic foam. Oh, yeah, come this on. is actually acoustic foam. It's not just like for design purposes. I just saw this design, like the honeycomb acoustic foam, and I'm like, maybe it's a good idea. And to do it in such a way that it's uh, chaotic, not, not uniform. I do plan to put like paintings on top. Like, so here is like Disney, right? This is Disney, uh, Marvel, and Star Wars, right? I was thinking of a, a Japanese artwork. So it's like, you come in, you like, oh, scared. And then when you sit down, also thinking of putting a TV, but I'm not sure how to fit a TV. Idea of having a TV is having a TV stand with wheels. So I can put it here. Then if I want to use it, I can put it on the wall. The reason why I want that to happen is because when we shoot, I don't want the TV to be at the side. You know, I want to keep it one side. So yeah, that's the that's the idea. Not sure yet. Honestly, just waiting for TV sponsor. <laughs> but I, I'm not sure. I'm, I'm thinking of buying a TV. I have a TV set in mind. I'm not going to say. But I do want to get into TV tech. Review, uh, showcase feature of TVs. But yeah, uh, the only thing I believe that is different or I have added is an extra monitor, a ultra-wide MSI monitor. Other than that, everything is the same. La. Yeah, everything is the same. Um, if you all remember, but I'm not sure where to put yet. My lightsabers are on top. Zenitsu's sword, katana, bob. Now Overwatch is the thing again. We don't make her. And yeah, my stiletto. Uh, I think I talked about this in my previous tour, my room tour. But one is the five year award. Was it 10 year? I forgot. Indo wing, Singapore wing, best combat unit, Sanjapura, and a stiletto. Next, this is basically storage area. Storage area. So I have my wheel here that when I want to play racing cars, you have tools. So this is hammer drill. Uh, this is the, the new one, Botch. I spent a bit of money on this. Battery powered, I like. I also bought a Botch regular drill. So it's easy to screw things in. I can uh, add a screwdriver. Yep, and then I can like loosen this. So if let's say I want to screw something in, I don't want it to be too tight. It's not, it's not very tight, so it won't like damage any components, especially if it's a PC component. Heat gun for water cooling, custom water loop, toolbox. Screws, so all these screws are sorted. So there's nails, there are wall screws, there's PC screws, and then you know PC screws are many. SSD screw, you got the motherboard screw, it's all sorted. Uh, alcohol, 99.9% isopropyl alcohol. Yeah, so I have a small one, and then I'm like, why do I buy a small one? Might as well just buy the big one. And then big one, Swiss water to put liquid in the custom water loop. Box. Box, nicely labelled, very important. The last thing you want to do is to open and like, ah, uh, cannot find. So, small bottles, it's yeah, small bottles. <laughs> so HDMI, so video cable is more of like the uh, display port and other cables. HDMI is its own thing because I got so many HDMI cables, I like, uh, just put it in. Cuts, phones, look at that, my NS phone. Samsung eh, don't play play. Can beat the Galaxy in terms of battery. Ah. This one is for my water cooling. This is the Thermal Grizzly Liquid Metal Compound. So just more storage, uh, boxes, Intel, AMD. One more thing that I want to show you. So I use this table for, I'll put this table here. And uh, this is my test bench. I'll put my test bench here. I have monitors here. La. Just a monitor stand. La. So a monitor stand. Then uh, all the mouse keyboards are here. I think you all see it with the 4000 series. Then here is where I can just sit here and there's like a better control, you know, I can use my PC, do research, uh, check benchmark scores, and I have a, I can do the benchmarks here. So it's easier. Let's say anyone that needs to benchmark, they also can do it on the other side, you know, just flip it. Especially doing a channel in a small size, you need everything to be convenient so that it's, yeah, you don't waste time. Previously at the, at home, when I was doing this channel at home, a lot of preparations just to set up any benchmarkings because you have to pack everything, you have to do, and then everything gets messy. I mean, things still get messy, but the mess doesn't slow down as much as when you are cramped in a small room. Last but not least, the two setups. Uh, one, I featured this a bit in my previous video as well, the two interns. Yeah, one is vacant, so this could be your future because I, like I said in the video just now, 
I am looking for a new staff. It can be internship, it can be part-time, it can be full-time, depending on your skill. And like I said, I'm not looking for you to be an expert of anything. If you want to come here and learn, obviously I have to uh, get something in return, lah, which is work. Lah. But you can come and I can show you the ropes and basically mentor you. Lah. In a way lah. This one is a uh, giant's uh, table. Uh, the guy behind the camera, which is leaving soon. So I have two big, 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 two open seats. But I'm not quite sure on how the future goes. So I'm gonna just look for one at the moment. If you send in, I will, I will still contact you if I uh, need another stuff. But very, very exciting because I'm gonna start new channels, not just tech. Uh, don't wanna say lah. It's a bit... One is gaming, and another one is like non-gaming, non-tech related and his collaboration with a friend. That one not confirmed yet, but if we find the right people, we'll get it done. Uh, more GPUs, 3090 Zotac here. Ah, look at that. Zotac 3090 and the MSI Supreme. You can see how different it is, even though it's the same GPU. So PC at the bottom, rocking a RTX 3060 with 12400 F. AMD Radeon RX 6750 XT. Uh, gonna do a video with this collaboration with AMD and Giants PC. This one is the one that I did for the how I built a PC. 12700KF, right? RTX 3060 Ti. Yes. Prism monitors, Omidesk desk, uh, many SSDs. I, I think that's basically it. Oh, one more thing I forgot to mention. Yeah, 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 I want to show off. So, you know, I have lightsaber, right? I bought a new lightsaber. This is actually a cheaper one. This is for combat. So, the thing about this that I added is a string. You can see the string, right? It's not it's very obvious. But imagine you can't see the string. Right? What's the string for? Okay, firstly, red, of course, the fader. And what you can do with the string is you can levitate. Okay, okay, okay. Let's go, let's go. Continue the video. Continue. I mean, if you compare this to any of the other YouTubers, this is nothing, but I'm very proud and very happy with this setup. I, I cannot, I would never have imagined two years ago, starting this channel, that it would have been like this. But super happy. The last thing I said I'm gonna mention is what office am I in? So this, it's actually the Aftershock office. Yes, yes. This was actually supposed to be the office that I was at. I don't know whether you remember, but I managed to get the bigger one. Uh, they're doing their thing, so we go inside, we go inside. I do fear that some of you will think, oh, I'm going to be biased against Aftershock and all this kind of thing. And I can explain to you why I decided to get this office instead of somewhere else. Firstly, me and Aftershock have a very good working relationship even before I started the tech channel, NOC times. Having this office right has pros and cons, right? Pros is collaboration will be a lot easier. So you see uh, videos like the Jasmine PC video, Julin, uh, that one everyone like, uh, Kisha, everyone like that. So I couldn't make that kind of videos without the support of Aftershock, unless y'all give me money. Even if I get sponsors, from any other brands, like individual brands, it's gonna take so much work because I need to go, oh, uh, like talk to MSI for the motherboard or talk to Zotac for their GPU. It's gonna, it's, it's very, very hard. So having Aftershock support, right, helps the channel with content. And what they get in return is publicity. Another pros is because we are doing collaboration all the time, doing direct co collaboration, easy. Some of the cons will be things like biasness, which I, agree. Even if I try not to be biased, there's going to be natural biasness. That's why I won't be doing any Singapore PC building review, if that makes any sense. Because the thing is, Aftershock is a PC building company. They are not manufacturing any GPUs, CPUs or motherboards. So that's the reason why I don't mind being in this building. Because if this, for example, is a Zotac or MSI, then I know I can't be fair to other brands. But because it's Aftershock, as unbiased as I can, I think I won't be fair for the Singapore PC building company. That's what I believe. But that's the thing. People watch this channel because you want to build your own PC, right? So it really doesn't matter. The thing is, right, it's not even an exclusive thing. They don't like go like, oh, you cannot work with this brand or you cannot work with that brand. Like you need to work with MSI only. Or you... So they like, I just want to be very transparent with your PC companies will have their own brands that have, they have better connection with. So for example, Aftershock, one of their uh, top GPUs, I think, I think, don't quote me on it, is Zotac. If let's say they force me to promote Zotac because in their branding or they use my name because like me in the building then I that is definitely a boundary 
you know, I don't, that's, that's stepping boundary which I'm not comfortable, which we did talk about. I just, yeah, I just want to be transparent with y'all. If you have any questions, any concerns, leave it in the comment section below. I will, one, take any feedback, two, answer any questions that may be alarming to you. Because one thing, uh, I'm not sure whether the new viewers know, uh, the company's value is higher. H for honesty, I for informative, R for relatability and E for entertainment. These are the three like pillars of values that I have for this company and channel for me to make the best content for you guys. I think I think that's about it. Lah. Yeah, any questions, leave it down. Remember to subscribe. I saw the subscriber percentage. Wow, last month was 55%. Now it's like 89% or 87%. But woo! subscribe. And thank you very much. I'll see you next week and I'm done.